I love fly fishing, and this gurgler mouse fly is one of my favorite top water patterns. This is a very effective pattern, and I think because of the tail and the lifelike hair. I would like to throw this fly as much as I can, however, I still use bait caster or a spinning rod more than the fly rod, and it's just impossible to throw this fly on the bait caster or spinning rod. So I have to find a way to bring in the hair and the tail components to the bait casting or spinning world for bass fishing. Here's my top water lure lineup for bait casting. We need to find a girlfriend for this gargler mouse so they can have a baby. Looks like he picked the big mama spook. Hmm, good choice. Less work for me. Haha. <laughs> the baby will have a spook body, and I will find a way to attach the hair and the tail. The body design should be straightforward, somewhat cylindrical shape should do it. I also need to add through wire harness for line tie, hook tie, tail tie, etc. Let's get started. So basically, we are going to make a spook, and here I start with the profile, uh, which has to be the closed profile, because we are going to use it for revolving into the cigar body. Here I split it in half, and I plan to print it in two pieces, so I can place the wire harness in the middle and also have the access to the weight chamber. I think I went back and undo the split because I want to cut the chamber and wire harness first and then split. That way I just need to combine or cut once. Either way is fine if you do split first. Remember to keep tool when you do combine because you need to use the same tool to cut the other half. Alright, there you have it. Easy peasy spook design. Now we have the 3D model printed and next step is to make this through wire or the wire harness. I have another video that shows you how I made this so remember to check it out. To put them together, first I rough it up with the sandpaper and then use the super glue. With the weights and the through wire in place, I carefully put them together and use the clamps to keep them in place. As you can see, I left the wire harness sticking out at the tail end 
because I plan to twist it and make it a tail keeper for the soft plastic. Now I'm adding the googly eyes and make sure they are symmetrical. I probably should have added the eye socket in the model. It will make this process a lot easier. To make the spook hairy, I'm using the Zanker strips by Orvis. I think they're from rabbits. First, I cut it to length, then super glue to the body. This is probably the largest object that I have ever put on my vise. To make it more secure, I also tie the strips with a thread. I will secure the thread with the epoxy later on. If you look closely, you can see where I put the thread to secure the zanker strips. Here I make total 4 loops to do that. Finally, I use epoxy to clear coat the spook body. I had to be careful not to coat the hair, so I made a base to hold the lure. Because I have the 3D model, it's relatively easy to make the base. I use a piece of paper to protect the hair. 
but I think I should have used something hard, something like hard plastic or just 3D printed. I used five minutes epoxy for the top half and I feel it's curing too fast. So for the bottom half, I switched to the regular epoxy, which gives me 40 minutes of work time. And because it stays running longer, I can have more time to apply the coat more evenly. Here's the result with the clear coat and as you can see on top because of I used 5 minutes epoxy I didn't have time to apply it well so the top is not as smooth as the bottom part and also when I finished the top there was a breeze coming so some hair got to stick to the epoxy so next time if I'm building this again I have to make sure there's no air flowing around the environment Here I'm going to try different configurations. First one is the spook. Uh, it's just a regular spook, nothing attached. So it's very easy to walk the dog. And with the tail, it starts to get a little bit harder to walk the dog, but it's still okay. Next one up is the spook with hair. First time in the water. Let's see. In the beginning, I have a hard time to make it walk properly, but once I get a hand of it, I can make it walk uh, just like a regular spook. And you can see the hair is flowing in the water. Now I'm adding the tail, which is a finesse worm. As you can see, it's harder to get the walk the dog action, but the tail is really attractive in my opinion. Now which one do you think will work better? With the tail or without? Leave your comments and let us know. Here's the fish eye view. I'm switching the tail from the finesse worm to the curly tail worm. I think the twitch or the stop and go action is very unique for this lure. So I took this lure out fishing, unfortunately I did not catch anything. I guess they were just not looking out for food, maybe next time. I'm pretty sure I will catch something with this gurgler spook. If you enjoy watching this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more content like this. I think I have something crazier coming up. I will see you next time. Peace!
Okay. Whew. Worked. Yes. Let's go. There she goes. believe I lost it man I guess I will make another one mm -hmm.